hello and welcome to web dementors youtube channel and you're watching python tutorial series for beginners so in this video we're going to see about the history of python let's begin with when it all started for python the idea of python was put forward in late 1980s so it was something around 30 years back that python was started as an idea the implementation started in 1989 by the fall of 1980s it was started so it was something around 1989 december they all started to be put into various pieces and python was published in 1991 so it took two years for them to get a completed python ready to be published and it was guido von rosen who is behind the python so he started the idea he put forward the idea of python he made it possible and he published it so it was his idea it was his work that made python one of the best languages that is available for a lot of people so in 1994 the primary discussion forum for python was formed so this is the forum that was officially formed for python so till then for nearly three years there was no discussion forum where you could discuss various issues with python or any problems that you had with python so python needed those kind of discussion forums because it was completely an open source project and there's a lot of people who are ready to actually give help but there is no place to actually do that and that's why there is a forum that was created in order to help the needed and also in order to give a lot of very good suggestions for Python to develop, enhance and improve. So there are a lot of versions that came with Python. Python started with version 1.0 in 1994. So that's the Python 1.0 version. But in 1991, the version that was released is 0.9. So it is not even 1.0. So it started as 0.9 when it was released in 1991. So Python 1.0 itself has two other versions in it. So it's 1.5 and 1 1.6. In 1997, Python 1 1.5 was released and in 2000, 1 1.6 was released. So it took three years for each of these releases to happen. So the Python 2.0, one of the major releases of Python was released in 2000. So Python 1.6 and Python 2.0 was released in the same year within a gap of one month. It was September when Python 1.6 was released and it was October when Python 2.0 was released. And under Python 2.0, there is a huge number of releases that was released over a short period of times. It was like a, an improvement, enhancement releases that came out and some of the major releases also came out with uh, large improvements and also added features. So some of which are Python 2.1 to 2.7. So Python 2.1 was released in 2001. At the same year, Python 2.2 was also released. Then it took two years to release the 2.3 version, which had a lot of improvements and also enhancements with debug fixes. And 2.4 took one year in order to come out. And then two years after that, 2.5 was released. And 2.6 came in 2008. By the time, Python was really well developed and also really well spread. And 2.7 was the latest release after which the Python 2 series was actually stopped. So Python 2.7 was the major release that happened at 2010, which is actually the current version. And after which some of the smaller releases that happened. So it was 2.7.8 at the time this video has been made. So when you are using, you might see that the Python 2 releases were completely stopped. And the next version that came out as one of the major releases of Python is Python 3.0, which was released in 2008 along with 2.6. So Python 3.0 had a lot of changes when it came to the structure of Python 2.0, which had a lot of flaws. Python 3.0 concentrated on clearing out those flaws. So Python 3.0 or 3 series also had a lot of releases came out. It was 3.1 to 3.4. At this moment, the current version is Python 3.4. So 2009, this Python 3.1 was released. So at the moment this video is being made, the Python version is standing at 3.4. And we will be looking at developing Python programs using Python 3.4. The reason why is the major releases are Python 2.0 and Python 3.0. So Python 3.0 was designed to rectify fundamental design flaws in older versions. So that is Python 2.0 has a lot of design flaws that made it a little bit difficult and also sometimes miss out on some factors that made the program more vulnerable to errors and issues. 
and has a lot of new features added compared to Python 2.x. That is, the 2.0 version had relatively lesser features added when it was released as a major release. And the backward compatibility with 2.x is broken. So if you are developing programs with Python 3.0, you cannot expect a backward compatibility with Python 2.x. That is the 2 series. So it's very important that you have to make sure that the server or the development environment that you're using is 3.0 and you cannot expect a 2.0 or 2.x version to work with 3.0 development environment or server. At the same time, Python 3.0 will not work, will never work with Python 2. As you already know, it's not going to work. Any of the older versions will not support the newer versions. And Python 3.x is the future of Python, so it's going to take a lot of time for people to actually change or migrate from Python 2 to Python 3. So there will be a lot of demand when it comes to a part where Python 3 is essential in order to grow with Python. So Python 2 development and also releases, major releases with Python 2 has been stopped. So by the time I'm making this video, the Python 2 release is stopped. So it's going to be Python 3 which is going to be released from now on. There will be no bigger or a major release that would be happening in Python 2 series. So Python 3 is going to be the future of Python. Python 3 is going to be the Python that is going to exist after three or four years. So this is the right time for you to learn Python 3 and also grow with Python 3. Sometimes I might code Python 2 when it is necessary, but Python 3 is going to be the major part that we're going to concentrate on this series. Maybe if it is required, we will be taking videos or creating videos with Python 2 series, but it's going to be unnecessary because it's too late for you to learn Python 2. It's better to learn Python 3 and avoid Python 2 because the servers are still with Python 2, but in a couple of years, you will be seeing most of the servers running with Python 3, not with Python 2, because the compatibility is not going to be available when it comes to Python 3. So when they shift from Python 2 to Python 3, they won't be able to support Python 2 versions of applications. So you need to know Python 3 if you are good at Python 2. So you still might need this Python series to work out for you. So that's actually the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it was useful. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and also share it with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. If you have already subscribed, please share the channel with your friends so that they can also subscribe and also support us. If you have any comments or suggestions or feedback, please feel free to share it. You can share that in the comment section of this video or in the Google Plus, Facebook page or Twitter feed. And you can also contact me personally through the social links I have made available in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.